Yeah, so the first question is, who are you? I'm Kevin Edwards, uh, CEO of uh, Skip the Dishes. All right, thank you for answering that. And the follow-up question will be where and or when did you start your career? Well, uh, I started my career uh, four decades ago in, uh, in Toronto. Uh, I started in sales and marketing. I, uh, I spent most of my career uh, in marketing, um, which brought me to uh, Winnipeg ultimately. But before that, I lived in, um, in the US. I lived in Chicago. I lived in uh, London, England. And uh, actually, while I didn't live full time, but I, I spent a lot of time uh, living in uh, uh, Melbourne, Australia as well. So I've, uh, I've been around the globe and I've uh, been very lucky to, uh, to have a lot of ex uh, good experiences in, uh, in different countries. Wow, that's, that's amazing that you, you've literally been all over the world. And, and, and now talking about your journey to skip the dishes, how, how, how was that? How was the transition from marketing to um, now skip the dishes as the chief executive officer? Well, you know, I, I joined Skip the Dishes uh, as the chief marketing officer, but knowing that, um, you know, Chris and I, uh, Chris and I are close. We, I mean, we still talk to one another at the time. Chris was looking on bringing, uh, looking to bring on some, uh, some, you know, senior level experience, people with many years of experience, not just me, but, but um, a couple of other uh, leaders that he brought on at the time. So I knew there was always an opportunity to be, uh, you know, assuming more and more responsibility for uh, leading the overall business happened uh, sooner than I, I would have thought. Um, but I, you know, I was welcomed uh, into the role by both uh, Just Eat, uh, our parent company, um, um, and really, you know, the, the, the leadership team at uh, Skip was very good in, in, in welcoming me and supporting me and and, and thus I've been able to support uh, the business in, uh, in leading it through some uh, rather interesting times the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. That's so good. Looking at the support we got from the existing leadership um, team and also how you've been leading from this very interesting time, I would say, which, which will lead me to the next question is, what, uh, what keeps you going? That's not the challenge. I know one of the Biggest thing is that COVID nineteen. No one planned for COVID nineteen, and it just it just happened, and we have to make so much changes within a short period of time. So, what keeps you going despite the challenges and any other thing, any other challenges that you may be facing? Um, well, what what keeps me going is I love the challenges. I absolutely love it. I mean, I don't love in any way, and I don't. There's nothing positive about about what's happened in the last uh, eight, nine months through COVID. It's a tragic uh, situation, but what I really uh, recognize is how remarkable the team has been um, from the very beginning um, you know, to today and, and will be going forward. We are, we are a team that, that you know, has scrambled, if you will, and been able to keep this business going. We turned on a dime back in March we have nearly now 3,000 employees. So at the time, we immediately had to have 2,300 people work from home and be able to support, that was on a Friday, and to be able to support that shift that night and, and not miss a beat. And we haven't missed a beat. And we've thrived um, through COVID and been of such great support to our restaurant partners in keeping everyone going. I'm very proud of the team, as you can imagine. Um, you know, leading through a time like that is, um, you know, a highlight in a career, not, not the circumstance. There's, as I say, there's nothing positive about where we are, but being able to meet the challenge as a team is, uh, is one of the most satisfying things that I've done in my career. And I think in most people's career that, um, that have been part of this, it's really remarkable. And we continue to, uh, um, to grow. I mean, obviously, we've grown the business significantly. Um, I think uh, one thing about the culture of Skip is we all want to win, and uh, and 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 we're doing that, and we should be very proud. Oh, that's that's a good. Thanks for sharing that. And and the, the the next question is also similar to that: is what's what's your inspiration? What's um what make you want to do what you're doing? And yeah. Well, look, I you know as I've 
you know, as I mentioned, I'm of an age now where coaching and mentoring is the, is, is the most important thing that I can bring to, uh, to a team. Um, being able to um, talk people through decisions, to be able to, you know, coach th people through their, um, their decision and, and just in, in, in general support their, their growth and development. And while I can't be a mentor to everyone, I, I approach many of the conversations I have in that way. And uh, I just want to see, um, I just want to see people grow. The growth of the talent um, at Skip is why we're here today. It's, you know, remarkable that, you know, this business was built by, you know, five founders, uh, a couple of friends, and now we have 3000 employees and it wouldn't have grown the way it has unless we were focused on developing um, our, you know, our talented, uh, our talented people. Well, that's, that's a good thanks for sharing the, the importance of um, developing people. And, and that's, that's basically, and then the last question would be, if there is, um, what, what would be your next goal or ambition if there, if there's anyone you're able to share? What would be my next goal or ambition? Well, that's, that's, that's a good question. I, I, I always have ambition for winning. <laughs> my goal is to win. And my goal is to ensure that Skip is the best business, the best delivery platform, um, not only in Canada, but across North America and the world. And we are such a material part of um, Just Eat Takeaway business uh, uh, because of our growth, because of the platform that we built, because of um, a lot of the innovation that happens here. So, you know, my ambition is, 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 is really, it's about us. Um, my personal ambition is to be able to, you know, one day, uh, perhaps uh, uh, if I ever leave, uh, skip the dishes, I will at some point, um, to be able to stand back and just be very, very proud of, uh, of what we all built together. Wow, wow. That's, that's so good. Thank you very much for sharing this. And that's, that's basically it for, for the interview today. Thank you so much, Kevin, for taking our time even to uh, meet with me with this interview. I really appreciate your time and for everything that you're doing for Skip the Dishes. And um, it's, it's a great honor working with you. Well, not directly, uh, but somehow. <laughs> so thank you so much, Kevin, for taking that time even to meet with me. And not at all, not at all. Thank you very much. Have a great time. Take care.